France was a pioneer in the automotive industry and is the 11th largest automobile manufacturer in the world by 2015 unit production and the third largest in Europe after Germany and Spain. It had consistently been the fourth largest from the end of World War II up to 2000. France is home to two major automaking companies, PSA Group owner of the Peugeot, Citroën, DS and Opel, Vauxhall Marcus the second largest automaker in Europe and the 11th largest of the world in 2015. Renault Group owner of the Renault, Alpine, Dacia, Renault Samsung Motors Marcus and 43% of Nissan the third largest automaker in Europe and the 10th largest of the world in 2015. The France-based Renault Trucks is a major producer of commercial vehicles and is owned by Volvo AB. Both PSA and Renault produce a large number of vehicles outside France. French-designed cars have won the European Car of the Year and World Car of the Year awards numerous times. The Citroën DS took third place in Car of the Century Award and has been named the most beautiful car of all time by Classic and Sports Car Magazine. French automotive manufacturers were long dominant in Francophone Africa, but beginning in the 1970s the Japanese were making inroads due to lower prices and the availability of suitable light off-road cars and trucks. Topic: History Topic: 18th and 19th centuries. 1769 Nicholas Joseph Cugnot builds the first self-propelled mechanical vehicle. 1807 Francois Isaac de Rivas invents a hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine. 1859 Jean Joseph Etienne Lenoir develops an internal combustion engine. 1884 Edouard Delamere de Bouteville is credited in France with building the first gasoline powered automobile. 1885 Amédée Ballet begins manufacturing steam powered vehicles. 1887 Léon Serpollet begins building steam powered vehicles. 1887 Panard et Levisor established as a car manufacturing concern by René Panard and Émile Levisor, with the first car produced in 1891. 1890 Armand Peugeot produces a four-wheeled car powered by a Daimler gasoline-fueled internal combustion engine. 1894 Albert de Dion and Georges Boughton produce a single-cylinder gasoline-powered engine and in 1898 produced a four-wheeler. They had previously built steam-powered vehicles beginning in 1883. 1894 Delahaye is founded by Emile Delahaye. The company is bought by Hotchkiss at sea in 1954 and discontinues auto production. 1896 Armand Peugeot starts to build and fit his own engines to his cars. 1896 Léon Ballet builds gasoline-powered cars. 1898 The Renault brothers, Louis, Marcel and Fernand, sell their first car. Topic: 1900-1950 1903 France remains the world's leading automaker, producing 30,124 cars, nearly 49% of the world total, as against 11,235 cars produced in the USA. 1903 Hotchkiss et C is founded. The company is bought by Peugeot in 1950, but discontinues auto production by 1955. 1905 Delage is founded by Louis Delage. Company is bought by Delahaye in 1935 but ceases auto production in 1954. 1910 Ettore Bugatti started the Bugatti Company in Molsheim, then in Germany, now in France. Production ends in 1956. 1911 The French branch of Hispano Suiza is founded. Auto production is ended in 1938. 1919 Avians Voisin is founded by Gabriel Voisin. Production ceases in 1939. 
After the war, Voisin designed a microcar, the Biscuiter. 1919 Citroen founded by André Citroen. 1920 Derrick founded 1896 merges with Sunbeam and Talbot, creating what eventually became Talbot Lago in 1935. Company is bought by Simca in 1959. 1921 Amilcar is founded. The company merges with Hotchkiss at sea in 1937 and ceases production in 1939. 1921 Salmson begins auto production. In 1957 the company is bought by Renault. 1929 French annual automobile production peaked at 253,000 passenger cars, a level that would not be matched till after the Second World War. 1933 with French passenger car production at 140,635 units, France lost its place as Europe's top automobile producer to Great Britain 220,775. The French roads nevertheless reflected three decades during much of which the French auto industry had led the world, with a car park of 1,448,000, ahead of Britain which had 1,210,880 cars registered and of Germany with only 510,680 cars. 1934 Simca established by Henri Pigozzi to build Fiat cars. 1934 Citroen introduces the Traction Avant, featuring front-wheel drive and unitary construction. Citroen becomes bankrupt and is taken over by the Michelin Tire Company. 1934 Matford begins building Ford cars, but ceases in 1939. In 1947, the company is reorganized as Ford SAF and sells cars under the Ford name. 1936 While the British and German economies powered ahead during the 1930s, growth in the French economy was at best tentative, with a period of destructive strikes and economic paralysis during the middle years of the decade. In Germany the Hitler government treated the German auto industry to a central role in a radical economic strategy driven by what can be seen as a Keynesian approach to fiscal stimulus. In 1936 France fell from second to third place among Europe's auto-producing nations, recording production of 204,000 cars, while Germany's production amounted to 213,117 passenger cars. 1945 Renault becomes state-owned and is called Regie Nationale des Usines. 1945 The Pons Plan reflected government determination to structure the French auto industry according to priorities identified by politicians and civil servants. A select group of auto manufacturers is favored. A punitive fiscal horsepower tax is imposed on larger engines leading to the demise of most of the Grandes routiers such as Bugatti, Delage, Delahaye, Hotchkiss et C, Salmson and Talbot Lago by the mid-1950s. 1946 Renault introduces the Renault 4 CV model. 1948 Citroen introduces the Citroen 2 CV model, a small front-wheel drive saloon marketed as a people's car", in the same vein as Germany's Volkswagen Beetle. 1948 Peugeot introduces the Peugeot 203 model. Topic. 1950 to 2000 1954 Fassel Vega established 1954 Simca acquires Ford SAF. 1955 Citroen introduces the Citroen DS model, equipped with disc brakes and self-leveling suspension. 1955 Alpine car maker is founded by Jean Redelay and develops a series of sports cars. Launch of the Citroen DS, flagship saloon car in the Citroen range. 1957 End of Citroen Traction Avant production after 23 years. 1960 Launch of the Peugeot 404 saloon models. 
1961 launch of the Renault 4, a small estate car which is aimed at the lower end of the market dominated in France by the Citroën 2 CV, as well as foreign competitors like the Volkswagen Beetle and BMC's new Mini. 1963 American automotive giant Chrysler takes a 63% ownership stake in Simca. 1964 closure of Fassel Vega after just 10 years of car production due financial problems. 1965 Matra begins automobile production. Citroën takes over Panard, phasing out the mark on passenger cars. The Renault 16, a large family hatchback the first production car with that body style, is launched and voted European Car of the Year. 1968 Citroen takes over Italian sports and luxury car maker Maserati. Peugeot launches the 504, a large rear-wheel drive family saloon, which is voted European Car of the Year. 1969 The Renault 12 medium-sized saloon and estate range is launched, but it missed out on the European Car of the Year award, which goes to the Fiat 128 from Italy. 1970 Citroen introduces the Citroen SM, a large coupe featuring a self-leveling suspension, self-centering speed-sensitive power steering, hydropneumatic brakes, and engine technology from Maserati. It also launched the new GS family car, which is voted European Car of the Year. Chrysler launches a new French-built, British-designed flagship saloon model, the 180. 1972 launch of the Renault 5, France's first small hatchback. It features a three-door body style and front-wheel drive. 1973 launch of the Chrysler 2-liter, a larger engine version of the 180 model. 1974 despite its new CX successor to the 19-year-old DS being voted European Car of the Year, Citroën files bankruptcy. Maserati is then sold to Alejandro de Tomaso. Peugeot launches its first hatchback model, the three-door 104, which is launched two years after the original saloon. 1975 The Simca 1307 sold in Britain as the Chrysler Alpine is launched and is voted European Car of the Year, making use of a hatchback body style and front-wheel drive. Citroën is saved from collapse by merging into Peugeot. Renault moves into the luxury car market with its 2030th range, which unusually for this sector of car features a hatchback and front wheel drive. Launch of the Citroen Lane, which features a 652cc two-cylinder engine and a three-door hatchback based on the Peugeot 104. The last Citroen DS is built after 20 years and more than 1.4 million sales worldwide. 1976 Renault launches a new small family hatchback model, the R14, which is similar in concept to the Volkswagen Golf from West Germany. 1978 PSA Peugeot Citroën takes over Chrysler's European division, the former Roots Group in Britain and Simca in France. Shortly before the sale is completed, the new Horizon mid-sized hatchback is voted European Car of the Year. Launch of the Renault 18 saloons and estates, which feature front-wheel drive and will eventually replace the long-running R12 models. Renault begins financial involvement with American Motors. Citroën launches the Visa, a small five-door hatchback. Peugeot launches the 305 saloon, which will eventually replace the smaller 304. 1979 Peugeot launches the 505 Saloon, replacement for the 504, which will remain in production for a few years in Europe. The Simca mark is discontinued after 45 years by the company's new owner Peugeot, who revived the Talbot badge for the entire former Chrysler Europe model range. The Citroën GS is updated after nine years to become the GSA, and gains a hatchback. 1980 Demise of the Renault 12 after 11 years in production and the Renault 16 after 15 years. New to the Renault range is the Renault Fuego Coupe, which is similar in size and price to cars like the Ford Capri. 
Peugeot launches the Talbot Solara, a saloon version of the Alpine hatchback, and a new flagship saloon, the Tagora, which was actually developed by Chrysler as a replacement for the 180 halves liter models. 1981 The Renault 9, a small family saloon, is voted European Car of the Year on its launch. Launch of the Talbot Samba, a reworked version of the Peugeot 104, which is built at the former Simca factory in Poissy. 1982 Citroën launches the Citroën BX, which will eventually replace the smaller GSA. 1983 Peugeot launches the new 205 Super Mini, styled by Italian designer Pininfarina. Renault has a new competitor in the mid-sized hatchback sector with the new 11. French production of the Peugeot 504 ends after 15 years. At the end of the year, Renault replaces its 2030s flagship models with the R25. 1984 Renault launches the Espace, Europe's first volume multi-purpose vehicle. The R5 receives a complete redesign but its styling is still recognizable as an update of the 1972 original. 1985 The Peugeot 309 goes into production, built at the former Roots factory near Coventry, England, rather than in France. Peugeot had scrapped plans to sell the car under the Talbot mark, which will now be phased out on passenger cars. 1986 Georges Bess, chairman of Renault, is murdered by the communist terrorist group Action Direct. End of Talbot Samba and Alpine production, as Peugeot begins to phase out the Talbot brand, which will be retained for commercial vehicles only. Renault replaces the 18 Saloon and Estate with the Renault 21 Saloon and Nevada, Savannah 7-seater Estate. French production and sales of the Renault 4 finish after 25 years, but it is set to continue production in Argentina until the early 1990s. The Citroën GS, GSA is finally discontinued after 16 years in production. 1987 Peugeot launches the 405, also built in Britain, which is voted European Car of the Year. Citroën has a new entrant in the supermini market with its axe. A year after the end of French and British production, the last Talbot Horizon models are built in Spain and Finland, signaling the end of the Talbot brand on passenger cars. 1988 Citroën 2CV production in France ends after 40 years, along with the Visa after 10 years, 2CV production is to continue in Portugal until 1990. Renault replaces the 911 range with the R19. Launch of the Peugeot 405 in a state form. 1989 The Citroën CX Saloon is discontinued after 15 years and replaced by the XM, which is voted European Car of the Year. The last Peugeot 305 models are built. 1990 Launch of the Renault Clio, a new small hatchback, which will eventually replace the R5. It is voted European Car of the Year. Citroën ends production of the 2CV after 42 years, the last two of which saw the car produced in Portugal. 1991 Peugeot partly replaces its hugely popular 205 with a slightly smaller 106, while Citroën re-enters the medium-sized hatchback market with its ZX, the first of two replacements for the aging BX. The final versions of the CX are built after a production run of 17 years, with the estate model being axed two years after the saloon, to make way for the new XM estate. Peugeot launches a new entry-level model, the 106. 1992 PSA Peugeot Citroen establishes joint venture with Dongfeng Motor Corporation in China. Renault enters the city car market with the Twingo, which is only built for left-hand drive markets. Renault replaces the 8-year-old R25 with the Safran as its new top-of-the-range model. 1993 Peugeot replaces the 309 with the 306, which also partly replaces the smaller 205, which is still in production in its 10th year. Citroën launches the Xantia, replacement for the BX hatchback. At the end of the year, Renault discontinues the R21 after nearly eight years on sale and replaces it with the Laguna. 
1994 the last versions of the Citroen BX are produced after a 12-year run, when the estate model is finally replaced by an estate version of the Xantia hatchback. 1995 Renault launches the Megane, a medium-sized range of hatchbacks, saloons, coupes, cabriolets and estates. Renault also launches an estate version of the Laguna to replace the Nevada, Savannah. Launch of the Eurovan, a venture between PSA and Fiat, which will be sold as an MPV with Peugeot, Citroën, Fiat and Lancia badges. Peugeot replaces the long-running and hugely successful 405 with the 406, although it is initially only sold as a saloon. 1996 Renault is privatized and its new scenic version of the Megane hatchback is launched to compete in the new compact MPV sector, winning the European Car of the Year award. Production of R5 is finally ended after nearly 25 years, although the last few years of production were concentrated in Slovenia rather than France. Peugeot facelifts the 106 Super Mini to keep it competitive with a host of newer rivals, while Citroën makes use of the 106 design for its new Saxo, which replaces the Axe. Peugeot re-enters the coupe market after more than a decade away with the 406 Coupe. 1997 Smart Assembly Plant opened in Hombach, Moselle by German carmaker Mercedes-Benz to produce two-seater microcars. Peugeot's 406 range is completed with the launch of an estate model. 1998 Volkswagen AG obtains the rights to the Bugatti name. They later build an auto plant in Molsheim which will later produce the Bugatti Veyron. Demise of the Peugeot 205 after 15 years. Its replacement is the 206, which is built in both France and Britain. 1999 Renault obtains a controlling interest in Japanese automaker Nissan. Renault buys 99% ownership in Romanian automaker Dacia, which has produced its version of the Renault 12 for the last 30 years. Launch of the Citroën Picasso, a compact MPV similar in the style to the Renault Scaniche, which is based on the floor pan of the X Serra hatchback. 2000 demise of the Citroën XM after 11 years, following a sharp fall in sales since the mid-1990s. The Peugeot 206 cc is launched, the first French car to feature a folding steel roof, which enables it to double as a coupe and convertible. The second-generation Renault Laguna is introduced at the end of the year, being one of the first mass-production cars to feature a «keyless» entry and ignition system. Topic 2000 to present 2000 Renault buys 70% of South Korean Samsung Motors and forms a new subsidiary Renault Samsung Motors now 80% owned. Launch of the Renault Laguna 2, which is one of the first mass-produced cars in the world to feature keyless entry and ignition. 2001 Toyota builds its Western European assembly line for the Toyota Yaris in Valenciennes. Peugeot's new Peugeot 307, replacement for the long-running 306, is voted European Car of the Year. 2001 Renault Trucks is sold to AB Volvo. 2002 The Renault Megane 2 is launched and voted European Car of the Year. The five-door Citroën C3 is launched, the first of two new cars which will replace the Saxo. 2003 End of Peugeot 106 production after 12 years. It had been on sale since 1991, with a facelift in 1996. The Citroën Saxo is also discontinued following the launch of the three-door Citroën C2. 2004 Replacement of the Peugeot 406 by the Peugeot 407. Citroën replaces the X Serra hatchback with the Citroën C4. 2005 The Renault Clio 3 is launched and voted European Car of the Year, with the second generation model being renamed the Clio Campus and now being produced in Slovenia. Launch of the Citroën C1 and Peugeot 107, which are built in a Czech factory as part of a venture with Toyota. 
2006 launch of the Peugeot 207, which will eventually replace the 206. The new car is produced in France. Peugeot closes its factory near Coventry, England, which it bought from Chrysler 28 years ago. The Picasso and 7-seater Grand Picasso versions of the Citroën C4 are launched, but the hugely successful X Serra Picasso remains in production alongside it. 2007 The Renault Twingo, France's longest-running current production model, is replaced by an all-new model after 15 years. The new Twingo is only produced in Slovenia. The Peugeot 307 is replaced by the Peugeot 308. 2008 Renault obtains a 25% interest in Russian automaker Avtovaz. 2010 Demise of the Peugeot 206 After 12 years in production, the last four of which took place in Slovakia. Peugeot replaces its 407 and 607 saloons with a single model, the 508. Launch of the second-generation Citroën C4 family hatchback, which also spawns a more luxurious version called the DS4. 2012 launch of the Peugeot 208, replacement for the 207. End of Citroën X Serra Picasso production after 13 years, marking the end of the last volume production passenger car in France from before the year 2000. 2013 launch of the second generation Peugeot 308, which is voted European Car of the Year. 2014 replacement of the Peugeot 107 with the Peugeot 108, which once again is part of a Peugeot Toyota venture, built in the Czech Republic alongside the new generation Citroën C1 and Toyota Igo. Launch of the Renault Twingo 3, which features a switch to rear-wheel drive and a rear-mounted engine, the first Renault in half a century to feature such a mechanical layout. Topic. Production data Vehicle production in France Total worldwide motor vehicle production by Renault in 2010 excluding Nissan was 2,716,286, of which 2,395,876 were passenger vehicles. This ranked 10th among all vehicle manufacturers. Total motor vehicle production by PSA Peugeot Citroën in 2010 was 3,605,524, of which 3,214,810 passenger vehicles. This ranked 8th among all vehicle manufacturers. See also Automotive industry in France portal List of automobile manufacturers of France